platform will give you details of everything happening in the education sectors, scholarship, trending mm -hmm. news, and always have different things to spice it up. Today on our diary, we're looking at news that made headlines in our Nigerian dailies. And we're starting from uh, the news that says, NAS tests FG to spend recovery loot on education. The Nigerian Association of Nigerian Students has asked the federal government to spend money that's been recovered so far on education because you, you see that most of those, uh, in, 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 in Nigeria today, you see that the money that has been recovered so far, nobody is saying anything about it. And it's just, everybody is just silent about it. And the education sector has not been really the way it should be. And we, we, we'll come back to where we, come, we did a poll on Twitter and what people responded regarding to the level of influence that the federal government is having on education. So, so what's the next thing that you have as well? I think we have um, on jump. Uh, Governor Bode has um, approved the deployment of day and night guides in order to strengthen the security. And the, 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 this was actually said by uh, Idayat Adebule at a uh, stakeholder meeting on the educational sector and everything. And that was uh, yesterday. So I think that's um, a good one because yeah, of the uh, uh, sorry because of the kidnap of the Bola students yeah, it's, that it's happened. Very, so giving a Giving security guard day and night will really yeah, help. Very, very Another cool. news says here that in an effort to broaden the scope of West African Examination Council International, that the uh, council as well said that they're going to reintroduce uh, was it electronic marking to ensure to curb uh, practice and other issues as well. And mm -hmm. yes, that is, should be happening in Waiya. They said they want to true. introduce electronic marking just to reduce the space at which people get involved in my practice and that is actually a very good one and very important but here yeah, i have a union lag postponed utmp i'm sure you are disappointed for those of you that are already prepared but uh, not to worry he said that uh, the utm that was originally stated for september 18 to september 12 it has been indefinitely postponed and uh, the new date will be broadcast on the website of the school so you need not to worry i hope and i hope very soon You'll get right do you, do you know it baffles me how uh, the, the, the situation of this country is that ASO is on strike and meanwhile some schools are, are already sending post me forms. Oh no, see, the issue of ASO, ASO is a very, very crucial one and I don't think we want to go into I that. I don't want to go into that, but you know what? They, shouldn't sell, they don't have any right to sell forms. You are on strike and schools are sending post forms. Very soon you'll be having like uh, year 1A and year 1B, can imagine, in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, it's yeah, well yeah. with us. So which other news do you have at all? Actually, just last week, we had the um, last week, most of the lecturers and the staff they were stuck. Over 15 of them. I'm sure it's because of. Uh, so Actually, they were. The allegation, yeah, let me call it allegation, was that they are exploiting students. Exactly. And I think it's a good thing that it, they have been stuck because it will send a it's very yeah, good news. as a deterrent to yeah, others as well. So, what's the another news you have? You still have on the diary. Yeah, I have scholarship for you here. Yeah. When we when we come to the, the part of scholarship, I'm going to lay it on you. The scholarship that are on point right about now, and I think we're about to go into the the okay, middle see, of the day. So um, we, we still have a news here, and mm -hmm. the news still on the news that made headlines in the Nigerian dailies mm -hmm. on education sector. The Nigerian Union of Teachers is currently recruiting. So in case you, you check on the details, if you're eligible for such position, you tell a neighbor, tell a friend, yeah, tell your yeah. enemy so that nobody will be jobless That's in true. Nigeria so that we That's can true. also engage one or the one other person, anybody, so that everybody can get what he or she is doing. So it's the education diary on blackface. You can always watch through us on Facebook Live. You can always go to YouTube. We'll still have some of our videos that can get you that are very interesting also visit our youtube channel you visit our twitter and our facebook drop your comment and drop your suggestion mm -hmm. so we we'll still go to um what we'll be discussing today that is the issue we have today is on the challenges in school resumption yeah it has it has been a very big issue 
See, I am personally passionate about it because schools, <laughs> even just for the, the recession and everything, school the providers are increasing the, the school fees, and that is a very big blow on parents. Yes. So I think we have somebody here that will, that, that will that. tell us, yes, on yeah. the challenges and uh, that people experience during school resumption exactly. and the hike exactly. in school resumption. Mm -hmm. And to do justice to that is Mr. Justice and Good Law. Uh, he was, he's here with us to come and do justice to that topic on school resumption, the challenges and what students should do whenever school resume and what parents as well. Don't because because don't don't use because uh, a particular school increased their school fees. You decided to take your child or your children away from such school. Have you considered what and what is into that school that you have even taking your children to? What should be done? Have you taken time to check through the website, their curriculum, the activity they do in such? Not because they, because there is a hike in the in the, in the school fees and you decide to take your child away from that school. So doing justice to this topic with us this morning, sorry, doing justice to this topic with us is justice Agulo. How, how are you today? I am very fine. Thank you for having me, viewers. Good morning and welcome to the program. Okay, uh, recently school has resumed, and you know there are so many challenges concerning school resumption. So what are some of those challenges probably that you have experienced or you are seeing in our nation, Nigeria? Well, uh, uh, the late uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, in the end, we we'll remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Yeah. It's so uh, uh, unwelcoming that Nigeria, over time, we keep uh, bordering ourselves over what is supposed to be a right for the citizens of this country that our leaders i am sorry i no longer call them leaders <laughs> i now call them political drivers they have not been able to make these things available for the common man yeah coming down to the topic of uh, the day yes. the challenges that parents students even the school owners yes. are facing mm -hmm. As they have just resumed, they are quite enormous. But I will narrow them down to three major challenges that I have uh, personally witnessed. Okay. Um, you will find out that as school schools have resumed uh, on Monday this week, yes, yes. some of the proprietors proprietors have even started sending students away from their schools because mm -hmm. their parents are unable to afford the hike in their schools uh, fees yes. and all that. Now. Of course, is that these things are uh, wide reaching because if the economy is not friendly, of course. how would you expect the parents of these children to be able to afford the hike in their school fees? Yes, I overheard, mm -hmm. sorry to cut you short, I, I, during the week, that was the first, I even, I even overheard a parent saying that I want to take away my children from this school because imagine two of my children, they are going to be paying 500,000 I was imagining like, wow, in a school, in Ogba, I was like, wow. This is, this it, it actually depends on what that school is offering. Do you understand that? Uh, away from what it is offering, my brother, I'm not cutting you short. It, it boils down to the general uh, hike or the general rise in prices of virtually everything. Now, this school has a manpower in form of teachers and uh, what have you, cleaners, who work yes. in these schools. You have to pay them. Of course. Now, sure. if you consider, perhaps, maybe before this resumption, the uh, boarding the bike to the school by this uh, very workforce, I am talking about the teacher and what have you, used to be 15 naira, perhaps, from your house to the school. Mm -hmm. Now it is 100 naira. What would you expect a, such a teacher to do? Yes. You would walk up to the management of the school and perhaps demand a rise Everything, in pay, yes. which eventually will fall back on, on the, the parents, parents of the students yeah. because as uh, the book stops in the table of the decision makers, so do these pains return back to the parents of these uh, uh, children because they are the ones who have to cover the bills. Let me ask you a question. Okay. I'm sorry. Who does the recession affect more? Is it the parents, the school, or the student themselves? The parents. The parents. Of now, course the parents. So, uh, let me add this. See, education, I believe, is like if a daily food to everybody. So, anybody that is going to the, into the business of, um, of uh, education should understand that they are actually going to a kind of 
a charitable in the sense a charitable <laughs> <laughs> i think you know, that, that is where my point that is where my but point not, of not in nigeria well, let, that, let me ask my question let because, me on yeah, because yeah, it's for business yeah, i am very, very sure for him to be done for <laughs> so i know you are going to attack me now sure <laughs> I, I am of the opinion that and I, I think everybody should be of the opinion that school fees should not go beyond that level that parents will not be able to afford it now like i said earlier that education is very very key do you understand yes i know uh, the government are lacking but people that have the means to to fill in for the gov- government and not the one that actually pressure uh, putting the pressure on the, the parents uh, i don't think it's uh, is a good thing though uh, so I want you to just trust that area because education, I believe, should come down. Charitably. Charitably, <laughs> Charitably yes. No, no, I believe that there should be time where you make profit in something, not in this recession okay, so period. Okay, so let's just respond You understand. You see, the, the, the kind of environment an individual finds him or herself mm-hmm. goes a long way in determining the operations or perhaps the likely uh, outcome such an individual is bound to put out. Okay. Now, what am I trying to say? I was going through the educational system of America, United States of America precisely. I got to find out that over there, the, 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 uh, once you are a political office holder of any uh, status or value, your children must not school outside America. Wow. Mm. Do you know what that implies? By the time, of course, I was uh, listening to your news before we got to this point, uh, ASU strike, uh, NASA, uh, post UME, and all of that. Yeah. Now, are you aware that in America, if there is a looming strike, or perhaps there is an envisaged strike by academic staff union, whether academic or non-academic, yeah. are you aware the government will take it very serious? Do you know why? Because in reverse, the actions of the strike would affect them negatively. negatively. When a decision affects you, you are bound to react to it positively, ensuring that the, the, the situation is calmed down. Now, what do we have in Nigeria? <laughs> if we <laughs> cancel those children, quote me anywhere, do not school in Nigeria. <laughs> that is why you would have a strike that will stay as old as three months and or beyond. Months. And nobody cares. Why would they care? Because their it's children Nigeria, are not here. Nigeria. Now, down to your question that you think, yes. I'm glad you said you think, Thinking is far different from knowing you know. <laughs> that schools owners should have been a Charity. kind of exercising a bit of charitable uh, uh, offerings or services. How would they be able? Now, this, some of these uh, uh, schools, the owners run on plants that use diesel. Some of them run on uh, big generators that use fuel. Go to the filling station and tell the owner, I want to buy, because I want to take your you diesel know. for... Because for a charitable organization. Because even some of these parents, they want their children to be comfortable. Okay. You can't go to a school that you will meet your child, probably the place is being stuffy and the place is crowded, and you want to bring your child to the place again. Of course it's not possible. It is not possible. Of course I'm not saying you fool your child. Yes, I know, I understand so you. In this season of recession. Yes, there should be a cut down. Even goes. when the government is not sincere with the recession on, issue. This education is key. And... Anybody going into, if I'm an educationalist, you understand, mm-hmm. and, and uh, my mindset was, I'm passionate about this, you understand, and if I'm going to be setting up a school, I'm going to be setting up in order to meet needs of people, do you understand, mm-hmm. I'm not saying <laughs> it should, it's easier said than done, my brother, okay, if so... you are in the shoes of the school owners, my brother, you would know what they are going through. It is said that the shoe, it is him who is putting on the shoe so that, that knows where it is pain in patience. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. The environment being provided by the drivers of our political offices is not encouraging. It is when there is a level playing ground that you expect the players in there to give their best. Now, uh, a friend of mine from Motion State was telling me that he was surprised that students are now rushing out of private Private owned schools to government or public uh, schools Mm -hmm. why would they not be because Because the the fees are higher in private schools than in government schools and my brother to be sincere with you even though i am a product of a public uh, school school, Mm -hmm. the level of uh, 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 the level of commitment by the teachers in a private school 
is far above what you what see in it? public school. Of course, that is very certain. Yeah, very but, okay, you can go on. All right. When some of us speak, we speak because it is necessary that we speak. And we are speaking <laughs> because we expect that those we are talking to directly they would, would yeah. heed to our voices yes, and that perhaps that take that steps. That now, are you aware that most government-owned schools, if you go there, what the staff do is to come on a daily basis, sit under the shades of mango trees, cashew trees, <laughs> perhaps break melon or crack unnecessary jokes. Uh -huh. The government is not sincere and serious with education in Nigeria. United Nations uh, recommendation for educational operations in every country that is under it is that your annual budget, 6% of it, must be allocated to so the growth of education. education but that's, you can't find in that Nigeria, we, we boast of uh, accruing uh, 3% of our budget to it, and that 3% might uh, ma go and find... Not that it is, if it was judiciously it utilized, was nice, yeah, it true. would have been enough. But I tell you, there are persons in between the government and the receivers of these uh, uh, educational okay. services that should change. <laughs> that should change the growth of educational system in Nigeria because their children are not schooling here. It's so we just hope that as soon as everything in Nigeria would be better. So those of our politicians or top leaders who are sending their children outside Nigeria would one day have their children to stay back in Nigeria. So now, in, 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 we are talking about the challenges that are being faced by our uh, education sectors and school resumption. You have hike in schools, uh, high school, school fees, and some parents who are not able to afford this, they tend to take away their children from the school and go to another school, irrespective of the, uh, 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 the, the level of information they have, they have pertaining to the particular school they are sending their child to. Somebody was saying that uh, so long that the child have um, a good foundation, does that really count? The, because the, the person was saying, uh, I have to remove my child from this school because I can't afford the payment of such school fees. The child already had a good foundation from the probably from the primary school to probably the uh, GSS three or GS two. I don't know. So let him just go and finish somewhere else. Mm. So getting a good foundation at first is does it mean that at some point it should be broken to go and go somewhere else? Not at all for me. No, because it should be all round. Yes. The truth about it is. If you break down the necessary condiments to making a good soup, removing one from it affects the generality of the soup by the time it is eventually ready. Let's talk about the way forward here because it's very important. Okay. Let us not talk about so what can school do, what can parents do, and what can students yes, do? Yes, so that as these well. challenges can be tackled in okay. the sector. Yes, three key factors have to be looked into in providing uh, solutions or way out to this uh, educational interregnum that we have been battling with in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. One of it is sincerity on the part of our political drivers. I no longer want anybody to call them leaders. A leader is one who is concerned about the welfare the of the fellows, subjects yes. or the followers. Okay, sincerity on the part of the government. If we say we are devoting 2% of our annual budget to education, let it be utilized judiciously so that we would know this administration has been able to build uh, four universities. Okay, the one that is to come will now think about staffing or perhaps uh, furnishing the institutions. The third one is on our parents. Okay. Some of our parents are too lazy. I am sorry if there is a foul word. We are lazy in that we always want to get everything provided, provided for, for us. us. We always want to be spoon fed. Yeah. We always want to wait for the <laughs> government <laughs> or perhaps uh, benevolent donors before we take our steps. It is not wrong if a parent... I used to hear of parents who only had one rapper and one shirt. Why? Because they, want they, they, were, they wanted their children to be well schooled. Yes. They gave out every other thing to ensure that they are their children were well schooled. Yes. Today what do we have? Mm. We see women 
who would want to be clothed in the attire in vogue, yes. who would want to carry yes. the handbag in vogue, <laughs> they don't mind where, where their, their children, children are school. school. Yeah. So our parents should wake up to their responsibilities exactly. and ensure that they meet their certain percentages. If you want, if you want an assistance from me, let's say you need a loan of a, a, a millionaire, and you come to me, even though I have more than that to give you, I should be able to ask you how much do you have so that I know how much to give to you to add to what you already have. So our parents should wake up. Now, the last factor is the children or the students. Yes, yes. Some of us are not helping matters. Some of us are not helping matters in that even when some of our parents are striving, toiling and soiling under the harsh sun to ensure that we we'll go to school, some of us get to the school, yes. hang around the fence. Oh. Some of us go there, follow uh, friends that, of course, you know you are not supposed yes. to mingle with. And at the end of the day, it is the entire society that suffers. Oh. So yes. government should be sincere, yeah. parents should wake up to their responsibilities, students should do what needs to be done. Mm. Okay, thank you very thank much. You very uh, much. Thank you very much it for that pleasure. profound one. So what is your last word? Even as resection is still on, uh, so, sorry to say, because uh, I believe for every Nigeria to say that he or she is out of resection, should be able to feel the impact that uh, resection, that if I go to market, I can, able to, I can be able to purchase a reasonable amount of something probably mm -hmm. with little money i have somebody was saying i i will know if recession is no longer in nigeria until i'm able to buy handkerchief for 15 naira. <laughs> <laughs> so so even as uh, we are being nigeria is being is coming out of recession i would just hope that parents will take up their responsibility and make their children and the government as well will make sure they do what's necessary to see that education is this it becomes what is supposed to be in nigeria so what would be your last word Concerning issues on parents sending their children to school. Well, my last uh, uh, humble submission is uh, parents should try by all means. When I say by all means, <coughs> I am not saying out of the coverage of the law. Try by all means within the coverage of the law to send your, your, your children to a good school and the owners of these schools, like uh, my co discussant have said, should also try to be linear and be, uh, should I say accommodating? I wouldn't want to use his word charitable. Yes. Okay, they should be understanding. No, there are no. ways long ago that our parents or our communities used to send st uh, their children to school on communal uh, agreement. Yes. You would see this man would come, that woman would come. Okay, so so person's child is going to so so school. This is the amount. How much do you have? How much a form of cooperative society or communal effort? So the school owners should try by all means to lessen the burden on the parents who send students to their schools. The government should also try its best to ameliorate the plights of educational practitioners in Nigeria. Okay, thank you very yeah, much. That's thank you a, very much. That's that a, a very pleasure. good one. So. Irrespective of the challenges that will be faced in uh, in a society that is being faced in our society today concerning school resumption, we just hope that these challenges will be tackled once and for all. So you are still on to education diary on Blackface. You can always be part of our discussion on our various social media on Facebook and Twitter. You can also watch our YouTube channels as well to see some of the stuff we we'll have there. Then we uh, are taking up a wrap up now because before uh, as soon as we'll be wrapping up. This program we're taking a we're taking a look at some of the scholarship that is trending yes. in uh in Nigeria. Yeah, it's true. And, uh, it's not only in Nigeria; it's right across Nigeria. Okay. But most of this one, I'm sorry, is for Nigerians majorly. And uh, the first one, there are actually two. I will be very brief because we are right behind schedule. Andela Nigeria paid fellowship for Nigeria Tech students only for Tech students, Tech students only. You can just go to their website just pay attention to this right now but that is b-o-r-d-s dot greenhouse dot i-o go to the site and you see all the detail, details there like i said the application is going to uh, end by 22nd of september 2017 i said it's for tech students if you want to go into the line of tech business believe me that is the right scholarship for you and they are going to help you to kind of develop all in every area when it comes to tech business and uh, the last one is actually um, Jim Ovia scholarship. This one is very, very wide. It covers the entire period of your schooling, that four years or five years or whatever. So I like this one. For under, it's for undergraduate or graduate students. 
in Nigeria University. If you are an undergraduate or a graduate student, please this uh, scholarship before you. The scholarship will cover the entire duration of your program, like I said. An application deadline is 30th of November 2017. All kinds of courses there, you know, in Nigeria, because you can apply. And uh, you can go to their website for more details, gymoviafoundation.com. And the gym is spelled G J I M O V I A, and then foundation.org. I think that's about everything about the scholarship okay. and you more will be read to you or in our subsequent uh, broadcast okay that's a very good one so i'm sure you heard some of the scholarship that is trending so if you are eligible go to the website and apply because it would help you because some of Ni some nigerians who are even not Niger some nigerians outside they are enjoying one scholarship definitely, or the definitely. other which will be very good which is a very good so i want to say a very big thank you for being part of our program today yeah. you can always follow our youtube channel at blackface even some of our programs are at blackface on facebook and on twitter at blackface we say a very big thank you join us same time next week thank you for watching <laughs>